Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Taste Maker where we are building a beautiful restaurante and uh, we did some sweet expansions, the biggest expansions we've done so far in the game and look at how amazing our restaurant now looks. We've got uh, 4H, 16, uh, 24, <laughs> 24 peeps all sitting down and apparently we're now starting to get a couple of queues, which is good. We got lots and lots of demands. We, we It was quite stressful last episode trying to work, figure everything out. But we officially started to get some five-star reviews, which is really, really good. Now, since last episode, I mean, look at you guys' kind of suggestions and stuff in the comment section and way we can improve stuff. Uh, like you guys said to try and um, kind of check out the bar situation. Because some people just come in, order a glass of wine, and skedaddle out of here. So maybe we can kind of switch things up to where them, those peeps only go to the bar. I don't know if the game has that kind of logic in it. We'll kind of figure it all out. And to also build some of the other stuff as well to try and earn money that's not revolving around food. Because uh, I sent a funny comment as well saying, Sonic, you've got more staff than customers at this point. I know. I know, I know, I know, but we're getting there, guys. We're slowly getting there right now. So if you are enjoying this series and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're under it here, make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But we was once a uh, pizza restaurant. We are now doing nugs, so we don't need that much flour <laughs> anymore. So on the kind of constant order of the flour, I'm going to bring this down to five. Actually, I'll bring it down to four. Is that too many chickens? I mean, mm, I don't know. We're all over the place with this. We are all over the place with this. So I wanted some more sweet expansions. Um, the decor is pretty good. I want to kind of, start to kind of start to sort this side of the restaurant out right now before kind of expanding backwards. But uh, the bar counters and the bar stools, um, I'm not 100% on how these actually work, to be honest with you. Again, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, we're going to try and figure it out and see what we can kind of come up with. We also have the slot machines that I want to implement too to hopefully make some sweet cash uh, from the peeps. Which is, uh, we're going to borderline turn it into a casino. This is, it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? It is really weird. So, eight big ones for one of these. Now, how does this work? I can rotate it. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Now, what if I did, like, a, a whole section coming in here as a bar? How would that look? So, if I did that, and then bar stall... Like... Do they eat food on it? Is it solely for drinks? That is what we're going to find out. We, now it kind of gives us a little bit more room for expansions with people coming in. And I... Oh, 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 this... Okay, hold on, hold on. This dude's walking over. Now, oh, another dude as well. Now, what's interesting is, will they order food or are they ordering just drinks? This is what I want to figure out and find out myself. Straight away, we filled up those tables. Straight away, we filled up those tables. Which might put a little bit more stress on us. But they're doing such a great job in the kitchen right now. They're doing such a great job. Again, I'm going to keep adding in appliances when and where we need them. Uh, is anybody going to, you know, serve these guys? we got a new review coming in. Five stars! Four stars! Yeah, we, we, it's, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. So, okay, so they do have food. Right. Interesting. Interesting. So, I was expecting them to only have drinks, so that is not a thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I, I like the design anyway. We'll kind of keep it like that. And then maybe do some tables and chairs coming down here. I was going to build another restroom here, but then someone kind of gave me the idea of building the toilets behind the uh, the kitchen, which would kind of open this up, uh, this area here up for more uh, seating area. So I'll eventually demolish this when we kind of build further back. But let's get some more tables and chairs in right now. Because we want to extend and expand how many people are being served in our restaurant. The fridges are currently full. Okay, we'll get another fridge in. Well, the fridge is only full because of the chicken. And I've got 10 chickens, so I, I won't go down that road. Uh, right, chairs. So, bam, bam is really all I can do. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Then, bam, bam. Oh, I can't afford it! <gasps> I forgot they were $100. <laughs> I don't have spent how much on freaking chairs. Oh, snap. I didn't realize how expensive chairs were. He'd be so foolish right now. 
But get all the once you've got all these in, I'm gonna place down some slot machines over here. So let's have a little fast forward then. We'll have a little fast forward as things tick along for us uh, pretty well right now. High workload for some of these peeps. I know I could have played around. Um, like you can change. Oh, you can change their name. I don't want to change their name. That's not what I do. With their workload, we kind of, you know, messed about with stuff. But um, I felt like this is a good balance. You could argue we need more staff, but everyone's doing a little bit of everything. I felt sometimes we're kind of being backlogged in certain areas. So if everyone's able to do everything, then we're all good. I might need to, you know, get another broom or something. So more money's coming in. So we'll get another table, another table. A another table, another table. It costs three hundred to get two tables in. So we'll wait for some more monies to come in. And I think this is the most amount of tables and chairs I'm gonna need for now until I can bring in more customers. So I think we can hold out and build in more tables in the long run right now. There we go. There we go. I like it. I like this kind of different vibe over on this side. So when you think about it, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in this area. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because that's the kind of space it's taken up. We got a oh an ingredient shortage. Was was that the um the potatoes then? We'll kind of bulk it up to um more potatoes. Yeah. And right. And because it's free to do all the windows, while we're waiting for more money to come in. I do the rest of the windows. Ingredient shortage. Yeah, it's, it's the potatoes. Everyone's going potato crazy, guys. Everyone's going potato crazy. Right, I get all the window stuff in. So, how did I do it over here? Okay, from the table. Ah, oh, okay. I see the design. I see the design. Here. Here. And for now, we'll just do the two windows here. Now, I know I've got to put curtains and stuff on. There was two windows there on that side as well. But I'm eventually going to extend back there, so these windows will eventually be deleted. Right, fridges are full. But that's okay, again, because obviously we've got more than enough chicken coming in. Um, right, okay, good. So the money's are coming in thick and fast. Let's take a look at now then, get in that slot machine in. Now, I'm going to pull it here. Now, I know we could potentially make money on this. But do we have the ability to potentially lose money? We made three three dollars. Okay, it wasn't huge amounts of money. Another three dollars coming in. So we made six dollars off that dude there. weren't too shabby. You can't change the prices anything like that. Three dollars. Do we never pay out? Is that what happens? I'm just kind of glancing over. So we made twelve dollars in total. That's actually not bad considering it doesn't cost us anything like it would do to like staff labor. So, so maybe maybe we, we squeeze a few more of these uh, slot machines in. <laughs> maybe I create a whole back room gambling area. Oh, Sediac! Easy, boy, easy. Calm down. Calm down. So, ooh, restaurant, food's amazing, but late, yeah. I, I mean, people over here that now have food are going to complain about the decoration because I have no decoration like I do over on this side. Um, but, yeah, it's one of those things. It's just one of those things, guys. You're going to have to kind of, wait a minute. So, hmm, do I get another broom in? Right, I'm going to buy another broom. So we can have another employee, potentially up to four employees cleaning all at once to kind of make sure that everything is all squeaky clean. No review coming in. Uh, food is arriving late is the issue at the minute. Um, food is being cooked pronto. Hmm. So this is where we're going to have to kind of start maybe thinking about you know, having those dedicated jobs for those some of those employees. Ah, <sighs> yeah. But we're okay at the minute. It's not a big deal. I just want to get a little bit more money coming in so I can maybe play some more gambling machines then. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Right, we need some more flour coming in our deliveries at this point right now. Because we've got way too many tomatoes. And then at what point do we go, okay, it's time to add something new to the menu? I think that point is now, isn't it? Right, so, ingredient shortage on the flour. If I wanted steak, we need meats and these new 
um, things. Burgers, we need new things. Soups, we need new things. Chicken, we need new things. Either way, we need new things. So, ingredients for chicken is actually quite a lot, but we could potentially get like a lot more money back in return. So, what is the, out of all of these, then what is the easiest one to make? It's going to be the steak. I just need steak and this. So, if I was to... It's a pan. So, okay, I need more counter space. Which we currently don't have any room for more. Oh, hang on. That's a point. What do I um, need to make steak? It is a stove. So, it's this. So, I can use a little bit of space here. Unless... Can you get rid... Uh, say I deleted this. Right. Does that then kind of delete all the plates inside of it, if that makes sense? So, cabinet, drop it there. So, if I went to order some more of these, yes. So, order the maximum. Not saying that everyone's now going to want to have steak, but also we can need more refrigerators to order the steak, aren't we? So, if I go for the ingredients here right now, and then throw in... Yeah, we need... Yeah, okay. Um, right, let me just pause for a minute. How much a refrigerator? 150. Right, I'm going to drop two refrigerators down because I do want some steak coming in there. We'll bring the chicken down to five. Bring the steak up to five as well because I don't know if we're going to then... Like, once you bring another like f item or menu... Oh, did I put steak on the menu? I say once I... Oh, no, we need to get it in first. Once I put something new on the menu, then all the other dishes kind of slightly suffer because there's now people who can start ordering this. So we've got a steak on the scene, or which is probably means that I'm then going to need more stoves, because straight away, more stoves needed. Because <laughs> now everybody wants a freaking steak. There we go. And I'll get ready to build that third st uh, stove. Wow. So many steaks. Bam. There we go. All the steaks. All the steaks on the scene. So, everybody wants it. They're going to have to wait for a second because, again, ingredients, boys. Maybe not so many red wines up a, a steak, up a flour. Maybe not so many tomatoes. Up a flour, up a steak. We're going to see how we get along with that. But, um, yeah, money coming in. Big money coming in. We're delivering all different types of food right now. There's more variety available. Um, more flour coming in, more steaks coming in. So it was nice and clean. Uh, menu is amazing. Restaurant is good. The menu is amazing. That's what I like to see, guys. That's what I like to see right now. Uh, we just need uh, more money makers, more money making schemes. So this is good. Right. I feel like we found a nice little kind of momentum. Yes, the workers are complaining. I get that. Uh, but let's take a look at our next game plan that I want to implement. So slot machines is a must. Because, I, I mean, it makes a couple of... Oh, we might need some more bathrooms. We're going to need some more bathrooms just because I've got free toilets to serve potentially up to like a, you know, a 50 capacity restaurant. It's not good, is it? Uh, but I do need to make it a little bit more nicer in over here right now. Fridges are full, but it, again, it's okay because it, it, we've still got more than enough ingredients. Um, the price people are not overly happy about. But if I reduce the price, then it brings more and more people in. And it puts more and more pressure on us. Whereas right now, we're kind of okay. But if I take a look at our stuff then. So the staff wages versus the ingredients is a total of that. Gambling. Drinks, food, total, that. So, give us a breakdown of what we actually serve. And so, we do more nugs than anything. So, maybe I, let me take a look at the uh, the nug price. Maybe up it to 22. That could be a little bit of a help for us. We're our fine dining experience right now. That is what we are, guys. That is what we are. So, fridges are full again. And we now, that's the build mode. We're now going to go for, where was it gone? There we go. Another slot machine. Do these have a negative impact on decor? 
No. So now we've got a second slot machine in. Is it possible just to build a restaurant that has slot machines? Do you reckon that's possible? I mean, it's something that allows us to make money without spending. I mean, yeah, granted, I've got to spend $300 to get it in. But, like, I haven't got to, you know, there's no staff upkeep. There's no ingredients thrown into it. So it's straight $3 profit every time they play, right? I'm creating a gambling den. The decoration could be improved. Yeah, we've got to start thinking about sorting this area out right now, don't we? So if I was to go down the decoration route over on this side, and if I kind of mimic what we've got in, for example, there's a jukebox here. There is a statue for 200 big ones just here. And straight away, that does improve the decor. Greatly and vastly improves it. On this side just here. So that's pretty good. So let me go back to uh, my money makers. So income from gambling is now at 30 big ones. But again, that will just keep increasing. 66! Damn! We doubled it. We potentially could triple it too. So we keep that coming in. So our net is now going to slightly go up. And I think we'll play around with the prices of some of our stuff. Now, do I go... Do I... This is, this is my... Oh, I've got a new review. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, could use some extra toilets. Yeah, I think that too. I do agree with you on that. We could do with some extra toilets. So maybe we take a look at doing a door that goes up to the back of this area. Yeah. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. I need I need more people coming into the restaurant though, don't I? So I could just completely back up the whole restaurant and just get... By dropping the prices so more and more people keep coming in. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. So this is our current net. 309. It doesn't feel like... It, it feels like it should be so much higher. And I feel like I've got no nobody coming in. It's, it feels weird. Are we, just, are we just serving so quick? Or is it just because everyone's dispersed over two sides of the restaurant? It doesn't feel like there's that many people coming in? Is maybe that what it is? Hmm. So profit's lower. Gambling's a lot higher, though, as well. Right, okay. Well, bring the nugs down. Um, bring it. the prices slightly down. Pizza versus steak. I feel like the steak should be higher. Right, keep it like that then. Just bring it down slightly so it consistently brings in a lot more people. More people, we could potentially make more money. You never know. It's, it's all about trying to find that fine balance. But they're coming in one after the other right now, which is good to see. Really good to see. So see if we can make a higher net profit this time round. Uh, new reviews, another five star. I'm starting to see more slipping down to three stars right now, which is not good. But we need to buy some more land anyway. I'm going to buy some land. I'm going to buy at the back of the this area here. So if I buy all that there, is it only... Yeah, I only need three wide to kind of build our little toilet area. Um, restroom. And I want to kind of create a little corridor coming down here. It'd be a little bit more difficult doing it on that side. But I feel like that's what I've got to do. So buy some more land. Buy some land here. Bam. Bam. And we throw a door. Just there. Down the corridor system. To a door just here. Now this is all free to place the doors in. Which is good enough for me. Right. So then. Back to the wall. So it only, only costs to build walls in. Walls... You can't afford this. Of course I can't. I'm in debt. <laughs> but I, I'm going to build this, and then it, I'm going to get rid of these toilets over here. So I can, I can I can actually reposition some of these toilets. So I don't have to build all of them in. So a small little walkway coming down to this area. And then I can put more... I can create this... Turn this whole little front section into a, into a, a, a gambling den. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. So that cost me 12 pennies a pop. 
So this is only because I want to create this cubital, cubical effect, if that's the correct term. So if I move a sink to over here, and let me build and place a door in. Which is very annoying that i got to keep doing it. Like this. But I might as well get it all in. There's a lot there. There's a lot going on. Oh, that toilet's in use. All right, we can move this one. So there. And then you kind of get the, the, the gist of it at this point. So walls. Oh, I literally, I could afford it for a split second then. I could have afforded it. Right, money's got... I keep hearing the cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So we are making good cash. But once I move these toilets and there's more availability for the restroom kind of area, it should increase our rating. Thus bringing in more people. All right, let's wait for these extra pennies to come in. It is literally pennies at this point. All right, there we go. There we go. So that's all done. I can now focus on... Um, items in use. The dirty toilet. It had poop stains. We've all seen the poop stains. Alright, move you over here. And then move the sinks. Guests are stuck. Where are they stuck? How did you get here? You should not be there. How did he get in there? Also, why have I put the sink in here? <laughs> right, guests are stuck. Let me... Okay, right, hold on. Get out, sir. You're not meant to be in there. Right, staff door. I have no idea how he just got in there. No idea whatsoever. So, that's all set up then. So, do I get like a refund for deleting these walls? I do. So, I'll use that money wisely. Uh, right now. To build some more toilets. So, we'll go toilets over sinks. Toiletta. There's 75 a pop. I've now just bought all of them. Nice. Which does mean more toilets to clean. It does mean more toilets to clean. Uh, what I could do to make the walking distance a little bit shorter for our employees is to put a staff door there and there. I don't know if they're able to walk through that, but they've got a staff door close by. Oh, it didn't kind of build on that one, did it? There we go. So it just creates a little shorter walking distance. Not by much, but every step counts, I suppose, at this point, right? Every step does count. We're going to need more sinks anyway. So how much is a sink? It is 70. There we go. I might as well do all of it. So I've got maximum in. There we go. So as many as you could potentially want. Lots of um, space. To do the poops and the whiskies. Very nice. And as we extend further and further up, that you know, we'll eventually get closer to that door. But um la di da di da. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So I've spent a lot of money then, so my profit's not gonna be amazing. Um but say take a little money anyway. So income for the gambling pretty much staying around the same. Uh staff raging. Oh no, this doesn't in kind of uh, incorporate my uh what I spent. So, if anything, we do need more money. And I need more customers coming in. So, what are the reviews saying then? Decoration. So, I think we should spend some time in improving the decoration. Because now I've got rid of that wall. I kind of like made this really, really weak, this area. So, let's let's try and sort, sort this out. So, okay. Right. Stuff that will increase our decoration. Maybe a nice plant will be good. So just got to wait for that big bucks to come in. So that provides 40. That provides 50. 
50, 80. So if I do a two of these, if I do one there, how much? Not much. <laughs> Not much. If I move, oh, I'm in use. Move you there and wait for another 100 big ones to come in. Drop you there. Now, does that take away? It slightly buffers the negative that's coming through that area, but we still need a whole lot more. Still need a whole lot more coming in right now. So what I do is I'll, I'll, I'm going to wait for that to not be used. Rotate you there because I can put like a little jukebox or something in the middle there. Stagger these slightly so at least then uh, I can fill in gaps because I've got to make this whole area green when it comes to the, the decor. So not many people coming in. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to now reduce the prices of a lot of stuff. So 15, 15, 25, nugs, 18, steak. 23 wine bring it down a bit in the hopes that that attracts a lot more people lots of people are now coming in i don't know if that's the same kind of speed that they were coming in before oh my goodness me yeah there's a lot more people coming in so i'm hoping that right it's like i can serve 10 people at 20 dollars and make you know Two hundred dollars, <laughs> or I guess I, I could serve twenty people at fifteen dollars and make three hundred dollars. You, you know what I mean? It's ugh. it's a tough one. It is a tough one. I do have a lot of staff, and it is a balancing act. And I am ordering like ridiculous amounts of ingredients, so maybe reducing the amount of ingredients that I do order. Could kind of slightly help us out. A little bit. So not too much on the ingredients side of things in terms of ordering. Um, staff wages is still very, very high. But we'll see what comes from this next day then in terms of how much profit we make this time around. So staff are complete. Oh, was that a rat going around? We do have a rat trap in here, don't we? It is, yeah, it's over here. So it will, it will get the rats. So that rat's now moving house. Bye then. Is it a rat or a mole? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, so it's just pretty much waiting then to see what we kind of get as a net from this method of serving is what I'm really interested about. So, three stars, four stars. We're losing our five stars. Wait for this month to finish. And then we'll see what we kind of walk away with. Because ultimately, <clears throat> it could be the way to go forward. Serve cheap and many, or less than high. Two tactics we could both implement. So, 355 is a lot higher than last month, which is good. So maybe that could be potentially the way to go forward. It's just all about trying to increase the decor rating. Now, that's going to be easy now, because we start the month in profit. So if I bring up the decor again, you can kind of see how it's kind of looking. So something like a grand piano, which provides a hundred, but it's a thousand dollars. Fish tank at 150. Oh, 150 for a fish. Okay, hold on. That's 170. Right, I'm trying to see what provides the most bang for your buck. So jukebox is 80. That's 80, but this music is so much cheaper. So if I did that there, as they. Oh, snap! We got ambiance! We got a little bit of ambiance on the scene right now. Okay, that's good. Can I get double? Double musics! Actually, I'll reposition them. One there. One there. Because I could then... Grandfather clock 100. Painting does 50. I can put the paintings behind these, which provides more decor. 
And then can we put the paint in? I know it's so counterintuitive to put it behind the plant. You can't view it, but provides decoration. Look at this. Beautiful. So a grandfather clock on that side. I can't really squeeze it in over here, so I might have to put a bunch of paintings up. Uh, we're a little bit out of money at the minute. But this should increase our decor, which it has. It's now four and fives. It's now four and fives coming in, which is good to see. So that last month was 391. That's getting higher. That's getting a lot higher right now. So that's good. New review. We're working on the decoration. There's still areas in which I can drop stuff down. We're working on it, guys. We're working on it right now. Here will be a good chat. It's also in like, the bathrooms, too. Like, it's very negative over here. So, stuff like the fact that you can put plant um, paintings up here is a big help. So, if I do it on this toilet here, a painting, it gets rid of the negative vibes. Like that, so it kind of creates a little bit of a buffer. And I can put some more paints on that side. It's the cheapest one, and the fact you can put it on there, because I don't have any space to kind of play around anyway. Because I've got to think of every area where a customer would go. Oh, I can't afford that. Okay, now now we're just waiting. So profit, I mean, we're, we're heavy, we've been in the 300 right now for the last three months, which is good. If I can just nail the decoration to where all the customers walk around, then... Gucci boys. Oh, I got a couple of rats on the go. How much is a rat trap? It's only 50. I'm going to have to get a secondary rat trap in. All right, should I pull it here? I need money first. Come on, guys. Buy some food. Bam. Rat traps. No, 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 no. Whoa, there's so much dirt on the floor. Why is all of a sudden there is so much dirt on the floor? It's having a knock on our hygiene rating. Can you guys do some more cleaning? I mean, they're getting there. They're getting there. So it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Um, right. New reviews. Okay, okay, we're slipping a bit. We're slipping a bit. Money coming in. Bam. Bam. Decor! It's still not taking the edge off it. I'm in debt again. <laughs> First time ever, 409. So it's it is it is working. It is working. And maybe the fact that they're increasing customers is making the cleaners focus on other stuff. So, where are our cleaners? So, we've got a couple of cleaners over here. So, if I... No to cooking. No to dishwashing. Yeah, it's okay for serving. But mainly them two focus on the cleaning right now. We'll get something ticking along. And then painting-wise... I'm going to fill this whole wall up right now with paintings. Wait for some more cash to come in. Now, has that taken the edge off? It has. So it might be neutral, but neutral is better than being slightly negative. Is it because I had the bar pushed right against the edge? You know, it is what it is. But where all the where all the customers work, apart from the bathroom where it needs a little bit more work, we have borderline created positive, if not positive, neutral zones for decoration. Ooh, the amount of um, picture frames you're going to get in here, we might turn the bathroom quite positive. Which is good. The rats are running around. 368 against Linda 300s. I'll take it. I'll take it right now. 
So reviews, five stars, four stars, looking swiggity swag. We are, in terms of gambling, still the same. So you basically, you make about $30 per machine a month, is basically what you make. 10 machines, you're making 300 a month. Profit. It's very dirty, they're saying. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I can see that it's very dirty. So if you guys do nothing but cleaning them too, so that they don't serve. Because we have uh, employees to do other stuff. There is two, three brooms. Two brooms right now, not taken. So this is where you could, you know, you kind of do need that extra employee. But I'm, I'm barely making profit out of this. That's why I need more gambling machines. Easy money. Right, let's get another one in. Right, new reviews. So everyone's going to start saying it's dirty right now. So what I'm going to do, we know it costs, you get you get basically $30 profit a month per gambling machine. But it costs $50 a month to hire somebody. So if I get two machines in, I've just got one in there, but if I get another machine in, gambling machine, that then, the profits from that pay for an employee and that's going to play for another employee who is solely going to be a cleaner so i just need one more gambling machine that's all i need that is all i need right now so that actually needs to be pushed over to here that picture frame needs to be pushed over to here so i can get squeeze one in just there so i'm now playing the waiting game so when i've got 300 big ones to afford another gambling machine Guys, buy the most expensive stuff, please. Oh, it would be greatly appreciated. Oh, we need more wine. Okay. It's the first time we've run out of an ingredient in quite some time. And it's wine. Right, still waiting for monies to come in. Am I going to get the $300 profit this time round? Come on. Come on, the end of the month is coming soon. I need to spend it before it all disappears. We just bought some ingredients and that just cost me money. Another ingredient shortage of wine. Bam! There we go. So let me up the ingredient shortage of the wine then to four. Uh, so yeah, we can actually now afford, well, I, I won't say afford, but I don't feel as bad hiring another employee at this point. And if that another employee, the new one, is solely doing cleaning. So we've got three guaranteed workers solely cleaning right now. And then there's two other brooms for two other workers to float around if they're potentially free enough to do some cleaning, which would hopefully consistently now make the restaurant a whole lot you know, cleaner in general. So I won't get as many bad reviews. So we're back up to the fours and five stars right now. So again, it's that balancing act. We need to uh, get... Bring up to five wine this time. Keep things rocking and rolling. Now, in that previous month, we're up to 120 big ones in terms of gambling revenue. We're going to make more profit off gambling than food at this point. I really think we are. So, at this rate, we should be able to afford at least a gambling machine every month. Right? That is what we should be able to do. So, with that knowledge, plants. Can I plant my own tomatoes? <laughs> that would be so cool if I could. Get ready for another gambling machine. Bam. Oh, I could do some out outdoor dining area. I could do, couldn't I? That would be quite nice. Uh, right. Another gambling machine. Guys, I'm all about them Benjamins, boys. I'm all about them Benjamins. So that month from made $248 profit. <clears throat> and that is with the increase in gambling. So we're making less money on, on, on the money. Uh, ma making less money on the food. So I need to get those peeps in. Now you could argue because I also made those free cleaners only focus on cleaning... 
it does mean for the other tasks that they're able to do they're not able to do it anymore so i'm then suffering where that cleaner could have went and like served somebody or cooked some food then i can't do it so technically i've got now less staff making the food so maybe that's having a negative effect and impact on the food going out apparently could use some extra toilets two reviews said that oh snap no it's not extra toilets it's extra cleaners for the toilets. That's the issue. Right, what we'll do. Another gambling machine so I can afford to get it in. So I've built two now since I hired somebody. Which means I can hire somebody else. So, oh, wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> this person. I need so many cleaners. Make this place squeaky. Can you clean the toilets, guys? We have lethal poos in there. Holy moly. Holy moly. They're, clean they're getting around to... They are cleaning. They're getting around to doing it. But they're so backlogged. Haha, <laughs> poop joke. Um, with all the other cleaning jobs, we gotta wait. I'm thinking, do I get rid of the doors or is that still a cool feature? I don't 100% know. Um, slap machines! Another one in. I've got eight. <laughs> Holy smokes, I've got eight. Big dollar coming in right now. Big dollars from gambling. Big gambling dollars. Holla, holla, holla. For your boys. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Well, bam. Okay. So, 500 big ones now in the bank. Oh, I can't afford that. Oh, okay. We almost had 600. So, another machine thrown in. 446 profit. This is purely gambling profits now increasing all of this revenue. Purely gambling profits now increasing this revenue. Hot damn. Storage racks are full. So wait for the money to keep coming in. That's good money. Look at the gambling income right now. So if I get another one just in here, then I officially have 10. Now, my gambling profit should be 300 big ones a month, or not far off being 300 a month. Give or take a penny, depending on if anyone used that machine. And so on and so on. So this is good. Um, hopefully the cleaners can keep on top of the, the dirty toilets. With those extra... But then again, with those extra monies I've got coming in, I can afford to hire more staff. Right? Right? So, you need so many dedicated cleaners. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. How do I not... <sighs> Does different kind of floorings... I've got to click for that. I was about to say, do different floorings make it a bit more hygienic, you reckon? I don't think so. I'm just going to litter the whole kitchen area. With all that. 
is quite nice, doesn't it? I like it. Uh, anyway, money, 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 money. So it's still fours and fives. I could still do with that lucrative egg. I think one additional cleaner. How many have I got dedicated to cleaning? One, two, three, four. So if I got another one in, that would be my fifth cleaner. There we go. Fifth cleaner in. And hopefully that, that additional fifth cleaner is just enough to make everything so sparkly. Six hundred and six six hundred $609 profit we made off that last month. These gambling machines, let me just double check that. Yeah, these gambling machines are the way to go forward. <laughs> they, they really are. They really are the way to go forward. So that then kind of takes a little bit of heat off me, a little bit of pressure off me right now that I can now kind of ramp it up a step. Take it up to the next level, which is quite exciting. Toilets are looking a little bit more cleaner. I mean, so is the restaurant. So I think I found the balancing act right now, borderline with just the cleaners on their own. Uh, so again, fours and fives I'm getting, fours and fives. Um, all looking good, but I don't know how, well I need to up more of the decor side of it to kind of get solely um, five stars. That is what I need to do, but we're working on it guys. We're definitely working on it, and I think we're pushing in the right direction. So, guys, I think I, I well, basically, I think we're getting anything today. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.